Now, something called the No Straws movement is sucking up much interest. We're going to ask this week why brands cannot afford to ignore this powerful new consumer trend. Also, bringing the Australian cricket brand back from the brink. And a South African fast food company gets in on all the artificial intelligence action. A very warm welcome to you, and we're going to start with this. And there is a growing global movement to ban the use of single-use plastic straws. Now, these little relics are non-recyclable and add to the 8 million tons of plastic dumped into our oceans every year. Locally, the Ocean Basket Fish Restaurant chain stated that they would no longer be providing their customers with straws or plastic bags with their takeaways. So all well and good to see the sporadic uptake of environmentally friendly practices. But, says noted trend spotter Dion Chang, this also speaks to a much broader aspect of marketing. Dion, a very warm welcome to you. Maybe before we talk about why this is suddenly gaining this traction that I refer to, it might be useful to get a handle on how much damage, sure. not only plastic straws, but plastic generally yeah. is causing. It started last year, and especially with the uh, David Attenborough series, I mean, even Queen Elizabeth, plastics on her radar. Mm. This um, is the Blue Planet series. Yes, the Blue yeah. Planet series. Mm. Um, I read something really interesting. So there are five patches where plastic sort of assembles mm. around the planet. Mm. The biggest one being the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And it's got 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic. And they said it's, it's double the size of the state of Texas. That's just like this island that's mm. forming there. So I just think there's, there's more and more awareness of that. And, and when people brush it off as, oh, it's just a fad, it's just a, uh, you know, an eco fad, I say, no, 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 not, not really. Because I've been encountering some restaurants that have bamboo straws they give there. And I've actually been to lunch with people where the waiter would put straws down the table and everybody says, no straws. So it's a thing now? It's a thing. Yeah. It's, a, it's a definite thing. But is it a movement or is it, is it a nascent movement at this time? It's, I wouldn't say nascent because it's, I think it's oh. quite far advanced and I think it's at most on everybody's minds because, it, like you said, it's not only the straws but it's plastic. So it's even the microparticles of, of plastic that you get in face scrubs and stuff. People are saying don't use mm. those in your showers because that also collects there. So I think there's a general global swell mm. of people understanding that we are really, really damaged. And what planet. is driving the trend? What has made us suddenly come to this realization so many years on? So linked to, to this no straws movement is a, is, a, is a very big free from movement. So that's going to plant-based diets, free from glucose, uh, I mean, lactose. So this is a subset. It's a, it's a subset, yeah. but, but I think it's, it's one that, that really is, is welling up uh, really strongly. And I think especially restaurateurs or the manufacturers of plastic <clears throat> need to really take, take note of this because I think they underestimate the awareness in, in customers about that. And I think you know, your, your big brands already understand that your, your food and FMCG brands understand that you, you don't dabble around this or you don't ignore this. So if you're buying into the zeitgeist that you're talking about, yes. what advantage then is it going to give a brand? The advantage is really about brand loyalty. So we're in an era where there is no brand loyalty at all. Your product is really secondary. So what can you add on to your product to make sure that you've got that sustainability? And at, at Flux, we are firmly focused on Gen Z. So goodbye, millennials. We've had, we've had fun with you, but you're not on the radar You've had anymore. your time. You've had yes. your time. And Gen Z are your teenagers, your adolescents yeah. who are uh, coming of age. They're starting to be your entry-level workforce. They are starting to be your next customer. And those guys have a really amplified viewpoint on that, and they expect brands to have value systems which they must be very vocal about. So leading on from that, yeah. why would brands ignore this? What, what would be the peril attached to that? So there's a, there's a, a fantastic Havas Global survey that they did a couple of years ago where they, they looked around uh, the world and about 80, 90% of the respondents said, brands and big business have equal responsibility with governments to push for positive change. And this includes everything from transgender policies to diversity. We've seen, especially in South Africa, how different brands have ignored issues of identity mm. and just really, really crashed with them. So this is latched onto it. Your younger customer wants 
a brand to have the value systems which they will resonate with so that they will give that loyalty but also to work for that company. So it's a two-pronged thing. You want a younger, more diverse customer base, but you also want that younger, more diverse customer base to actually come and work for your, your company. So it's, yeah, it's two, two ways. Do brands just let it happen, or do they have a responsibility to communicate the fact that they are doing something No, like they have this? a very, very strong uh, yeah. responsibility to, to communicate that. So you, you mentioned uh, Ocean Basket, mm. things that you have to be, say, this is where we stand on things. And it's a very uncomfortable conversation for businesses to have. So always been bottom line keep the shareholders happy now you've actually you can't sit on the fence mm. you've got to say this is what we stand on lgbt issues on sustainability but the on tonality all that. of that communication yeah. is critical though. is very because you cannot seem you can't seem to be seen to be pushing it so hard that it appears uh, inauthentic or untrue yes yeah. you've got to walk the talk um, and then the the irony is that the more you actually draw a line in the sand, the more you will be targeted mm -hmm. by trolls and stuff on Twitter if you just put a step wrong. So you can ask a brand like Woolies about that. You know, they, they try their best <laughs> and you still get hammered. But at the end of the day, that message does come through and it does and it will also make a huge difference. But the important thing to note here, and, and we're talking about something as innocuous as, as, as plastic straws, yeah. this is not a fad. I mean, this is something that no. you, as a trends analyst, yes. you're thinking this is going to gain a lot more momentum, not just with things like that, but also with in, in other aspects. In other aspects, yeah, mm. the, the, the free from movement. So, mm. so there's a lot of people who are just, we just understanding that we've reached a crossroads and that intersection is really busy and is really dangerous uh, for brands, but we need to cross that bridge or the, or, or the, the, the crossing there. Um, and that's where the customers are going. So just a quick one, how does a marketing director get their head around this? Given that they know there's an imperative to do it, yeah. yet uh, they perhaps are navigating in the dark. I think, I mean, I read something that was really interesting. So if we go to an H&M, they, they've actually uh, gone for dive, uh, diversity studies. They've been proactive in this. They've hired um, South African and, and black mm. owned marketing companies just to be able to do that. And I think you've got to really be that specific about it. It's not just let's slap a little campaign together and, and we'll do it. And hope for the best. You've yeah. got to speak it from the heart and make sure it, it resonates. From Flux Trends, Dion Chang, always okay. a great pleasure. And as you heard Dion saying, you have been warned brands, you have been put on notice in that respect. Let's stay with the story. The Two Oceans Aquarium in Cape Town is also adding its voice to the growing concern about the straw issue through a campaign called straws suck what else the infographic outlined the many negative aspects of using straws and also calls on consumers not to be suckers and to refuse the straw you can weigh in on the straw issue on facebook and on our twitter account and next up on the program how a local expert says the australian cricket team can bring its brand back from the ball tampering brick